24 hours away from kickoff now. Nichols and UL Lafayette coming up from Cajun Field on Saturday, and this team has to be pumped right now. Yeah, they're very excited. We had a great week of preparation. I feel like we... Uh, you know, put that last game behind us. You know, it was great to win, but you know that it comes with hard work and effort. And I felt like the guys did that this week. We prepared mentally too, with a lot of extra video study and and meetings and those things. So again, I'm excited to watch our team play. I'll do everything I can as a coach to help them and put them in a situation where they can be successful. In-state rivalries are always fun, but Nichols and UL Lafayette, a little bit extra meaning. So many of these players know each other, played against each other or with each other in high school. Even a family rivalry in this game, it just makes it so much more fun. Yeah, it is for these guys. I don't know everybody like they do, but they all, uh, again, probably have a little bit more incentive. And then they also, you know, they're athletes. Everybody's a competitive. They're all probably friends, definitely will be afterwards. But right now in that given game, they want to see if we can get in there and, and, and take one from them. If you're a fan watching this game coming up tomorrow, what are you looking for as to determine the winner and the loser in this one? Well, the biggest thing, again, uh, we're going into our third game where it's a uh, hostile environment, you know, and uh, so we've got to weather the storm initially. They'll come out very emotional, but so will we. But the biggest thing I just want to see us do is uh, be very solid on offense, get the uh, drive the football, and I want to see us just make sure nothing catastrophic happens early that could swing the momentum in their favor early. So again, that's it, and just kind of get in the flow of the game and then go from there. I thought one of the keys last week was getting that quick start. You know, you had a rowdy crowd, home opener, new coach. Uh, they were into it to begin with. You were able to, in just five plays, take them out of it. How important is that going to be to try to repeat that this week? Well, I mean, that's what you always want to do. If you get the ball, boy, there's nothing better for the whole team is just to take the lead right off, and that's the plans. But the bottom line is there's three phases here of the game, and we got to be solid in all three because we don't have any phase of our game, offense, defense, or special team that's really dominant. But the biggest thing, if we all play together, we can be really good, and that's what was proven last week. And then also, you know, what we've got to do is I keep saying over and over, the Colonels don't beat the Colonels. So the biggest thing we got to do is just make uh, Louisiana Lafayette beat us straight up, but don't help them. They're already a very good football team, but we can't help them by, uh, you know, giving the ball up turnovers or penalties or those kind of things. We've got to execute and again, they're, they're just young guys just like us. Make them make plays. All the things we talk about that are so important going into a game, as you mentioned, don't hurt yourselves, don't turn over the ball, convert on third down, stop the other team on third down, special teams play, all of those the Colonels have, have executed for the most part so far. Well, so far it's been much improved because, again, in the past it hadn't quite been that way. We've emphasized it all every year, and we've really emphasized it after last year, of course, showing where our shortcomings were. And so, uh, you know, I feel like we're making progress. I just want to see us continually get better. I just don't want us to be an up-and-down team. Coach, we're looking forward to tomorrow, and we'll talk to you uh, on the radio tomorrow. Thank you very much. Alongside the quarterback of the Colonels, Tescani Figaro, we say the quarterback, the Colonels have used three quarterbacks so far this year, and honestly, I didn't know if we'd be talking to you this season. That all changed last week, and right now, you're the big man on campus. Right. Um, I Well, this year was supposed to be a red sheet year for me when Kalen came in. It was going to be a battle for Kalen and Bo, and then first game, Bo goes down, unfortunately, with a concussion, and then Kalen, another just freak accident with the fibula, and so, you know, Fortunately, I was ready to go in at the time I had to in the second half, and everybody was, you know, gave me a whole lot of confidence, and it just helped me get through that game. The coaches always say you have to be ready when your number is called. You seemed ready to go last week. Yeah, uh, well, and I, it was shaky in the first couple of plays. Uh, you know, we ran the ball, was trying to get my um, the rhythm of the game, speed of the game down, and uh, a couple passes here. I should have threw it to some different receivers, just a different way. But as the game went on, everything came a little bit better. You know, it's t it was a tough situation to be put in. Uh, you, I'm sure, wanting to redshirt this year. Coach wanted to redshirt you, but there's such a big victory on the line. Coach said you had no hesitation in giving up that redshirt to go out there and get that victory for the Colonels. Yeah, and when he, uh, as soon as he had said, uh, get in there, I was like, yes, sir, Coach, I'll do it for the team. And everybody just came in, offensive line, gave me the protection I needed. Uh, we made some plays, the receivers caught the ball, and you know, came out with a W. What do you think uh, on your part was, was the biggest play in that ball game? Uh, it had to be, uh, I want to say it was third down, and it was the, the deep ball to the mom boat, and I had to say it because uh, if we would have came out there and punted that ball, they'd have had the ball, and we only were up by a point at the time, and that would have been you know, a lot 
harder for our defense. And you know, we went down there. We didn't score, but we got—I mean, we got a field goal out of it. And then so we just helped our D out. You know more as a, as a running quarterback, but it seemed like as the game went along, you got a whole lot more comfortable throwing that football. Yeah, last year it was uh, mostly like a wildcat. You know, you know, dive left, dive right, a couple sweeps. Uh, and then this year, coach uh, has confidence in me to do some passing plays, and I've been working on it in the off season, and uh, feels good. Now with Bo coming back this week, kind of unsure how things are going to to play out this week, and I would imagine whatever the situation calls for, Coach Stubbs will just go with whatever quarterback is strongest in that situation. Uh, honestly, I don't I don't know. We we've been battling, and uh, we both had our uh, good days and bad days, and uh, I just think when the game time comes, we'll either of us will be ready, and uh, probably going to interchange us uh, throughout the game and. Um, when we enter the game, it's going to be 100%. Got to do it for the Colonels. Now, this game has to take on a little bit extra meaning for you. You're a Lafayette native. You got a relative on the other side of the football as well. You got to be jacked for this one. Oh, uh, yes. It's, it's going to be good, you know, going home, you know, seeing the family and uh, trying to uh, just perform right for not only, you know, for my team and for the family uh, and just my teammates and everybody there. Uh, just got to do it right. Tuscany, one week ago, you were going to redshirt this week. You're on national television, Hambone Award winner on the Tim Brando Show. Going to see some time here coming up this week. It's amazing how quickly things change. Yeah, uh, the the Monday, I want to say it was Monday morning, I received a text message with uh, the picture or the video of, uh, was it Tim or Tom? Tim Brando. Tim Brando, and they sent me the video, and I was just, uh, I laughed. I was chuckled at first by uh, seeing what he was saying, and so it just, uh, it felt good, and then came into the locker room, everybody's going hand bone, hand bone, so it got a little joke out of it. It's been a great week. Let's continue it tomorrow. Thanks so much, Discounting. Thank you.